The landscape is truly inspiring uh, on the Cape. We will take you to Cape Cod for a look at a gorgeous dream house by the sea. I went to New Hampshire and I saw a waterfall up there and I wanted to make something like what I saw in New Hampshire right here on the Cape. A waterfall is just one feature of a Cape Cod garden with year-round appeal. You never really know what you're going to get when you come to work the next day. And this week's real find is a Cape Cod institution. Decorate. Remodel. Design. Get ideas. Get inspired. With New England Dream House. Welcome to New England Dream House. I'm Beth Shelburne. There is a reason that thousands of people choose to vacation in Cape Cod each summer. We start our salute to the summertime Mecca with a dream house right on the ocean. And now, Home Goods Home of the Week. The name of this week's dream house in Chatham, Massachusetts is Sand Dollars. The name reflects the home's seaside location. Architect Peter Polhemus. It sits high above this hill overlooking Stage Harbor. So it's very much of a waterfront home, a Cape Cod home. The design of the back of the home is a subtle tribute to the ocean. Peter's architectural partner, John De Silva, explains. We designed the central bay that was inspired by sterns of an antique ship. The brackets on the bottom mimic a cross-section of a hull. The porch and windows look like the captain's quarters. Sand dollars are beautiful but hard to find. So is the art that makes up the owner's impressive yet eclectic collection. It ranges from folk art to Native American pottery to paintings by Cape Cod artists. It's really just like their art collection is somewhat eclectic. There's an eclecticism about the architectural approach as well, but I believe that it has a unifying theme that pulls it together. The architecture itself includes what may be the biggest item in the owner's collection. It's a classic cape built in about 1805. It was moved to the site sometime in the 1940s or 50s. However, like any good piece of art, the antique cape house needed the right location to show it off. This cape was actually at 90 degrees around the corner facing Stage Harbor. And there were additions that were done in the 50s and 60s, uh, multiple additions. The Cape was picked up and moved and the old additions were taken off. They built a bridge to link a new garage to the antique Cape. So you drive under that bridge into a courtyard, which is where we're standing now. And it's set up in a classically Georgian manner. There's a courtyard, two wings, symmetrically disposed around the courtyard, around the front door. They gave the Georgian style a rustic twist by using flat details and gray cedar siding. Paint highlights the windows. The dining room is in the antique Cape Wing on the right side of the courtyard. One of the Cape's five original fireplaces is here, as well as the original floorboards. There's a spectacular two-story library inside the tower at the end of the left wing of the courtyard. This is a very much a vertical space, a two-story space with a balcony above. They're connected by this spiral stair, which goes up in front of a very vertical window. The owners can read on the arts and crafts furniture on the lower library or climb the stairs to a cozy getaway with great views. The main living areas are in the center section of the home. The front door opens into a two-story foyer. It's topped off with a beautiful light fixture made by Studio Steel in New Preston, Connecticut. The master suite is at the top of the stairs. Lovely ocean views make the sitting room the owner's favorite room in the house. There's even an outdoor deck. Off that sitting room is a sleeping area, fairly small, cozy room. It has some special built-ins. Directly below the sitting room is a family room with another amazing view. There's examples of folk art furniture and a painting of the Stage Harbor Lighthouse. Classic kitchens in Hyannis helped the owners design an open kitchen perfect for cooking and entertaining. It has three granite-covered islands and a unique brick fireplace. This is based on arts and crafts style fireplace. Certainly the eclecticism in this house allowed something like this. Right next to this arts and crafts fireplace is a Mies van der Rohe chair, a modernist chair, and there's antique toys. 
The folk art in the kitchen includes Sarah Hutchinson's flag. It tells the history of the United States as you read from bottom to top. If the owners want a meal with a closer view, they can sit at an outdoor table overlooking the harbor. It's one of many spaces that make Sand Dollars an unforgettable New England dream house. This is a pretty dreamlike setting. I mean, there just aren't too many places like this. Now, let's take a look at our top 10 design elements. Number 10, the tennis court, cleverly built into the landscape. Number 9, the granite-covered islands in the kitchen. Number 8, the kitchen fireplace. It's one of nine in the home. Number 7, the graceful light fixture in the foyer. Number 6, the colorful folk art furniture. Number five, the flag art that's like an American history book. Number four, the paintings by Cape Cod artists. Number three, the two-story library with its spiral staircase. Number two, the gorgeous views of Stage Harbor. And number one on our design list, the Georgian courtyard with a rustic twist. It creates a memorable first impression. Polhemus Savory De Silva Architects Builders has two Cape Cod locations Chatham and Osterville. The phone number is 508-945-4500 and the website is psdab.com.